Do you know what happens when a spring thunderstorm sends torrents of rain onto Minnesota soils? Or imagine if you could submerge yourself into the murky water and see all the critters living below the surface. What if learning about water resources was as simple as carrying a tune? And collectively, it all added up to a future where both the quantity and quality of water resources in Minnesota are protected and managed wisely? You don't need to imagine it anymore. It's happening at the annual Metro Children's Water Festival. That's how much water each and every one of you uses every day here in Minnesota. I use it, you use it. Everybody here uses 750 gallons of water a day. Minnesota is truly blessed to have an abundance of water, both above and below the surface. But as we've seen in other parts of the country, what was once taken for granted can quickly disappear if we're not careful. Explaining how everything is connected to water is the goal of the festival. The theme is water connects everyone and everything on earth. Oh, look at the water. The purpose of the festival is to educate Minnesota's fourth graders about the state's water resources and how to use them while maintaining the quality and quantity that's been our state's heritage for generations. And it's all flowing downwards into the river. Think of the Metro Children's Water Festival as a giant science fair, focusing on water. If we pollute it, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. <gasps> what began in 1998 has expanded into an annual September day-long aqua extravaganza, spread across the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. We are going to do some experiments together. At this stage, all eyes are on the Science Museum of Minnesota display. Now I have washed my face, brushed my teeth, and how much water we use on a daily basis. Inside, this is a crowd favorite, where students learn about the wavelengths in a whole new way. See how they get rough on the very top? And the importance of shoreline preservation. An important topic in Minnesota. Waves that have, um, lengths, how far apart they are, that are about as long as that, it will start going on top of it and sinking it. That is probably my favorite part. Well, my favorite was probably the wave thing. We learned some science stuff and, you know, how what waves can do different things and how the land is shaped, how it can affect them. Oh, that's so nasty. Judging by the buzz of voices, this is another favorite, simulating what happens in a watershed when it rains. It'll make anyone think twice about when and how they use herbicides and pesticides. We have green to represent lawn clippings. We have red to represent herbicides and pesticides. We have orange to represent soil and dirt. And then there's some soy sauce to show oil or other chemicals that might come from an industrial area. Everyone gets to spray a little bit of water to simulate rain. And we can just watch as everything mixes and flows to the lake. We were pretending it was pollution, and it would just get washed into the sewers or washed into the rivers, which would get washed in the lake. I just hope that they take away the message that they shouldn't be polluting, that the pollution, even further upstream, will affect areas further downstream, like lakes and rivers and the ocean. Looks like it has a tail. In all, there are more than 30 learning stations around the festival where kids learn about groundwater, aquatic bugs, invasive species, water quality, and much, much more. See it moving? This premier K-12 education program takes the talents of hundreds of people, including representatives from county, state, and federal government agencies, plus local watershed districts, as well as the hundreds of volunteers who come out to be class guides, work in the water arcade, or help with busing and providing lunch. And we can't forget the many generous private and public partners who help fund the festival every year. We need the water for the plants, the animals, and so we can't survive either because our food. We want the students to leave with an understanding of water resources and why it's important. Um, to come away with some take-home habits of protecting water resources and conserving them for future generations. Whether it's water from your faucet or a fast-flowing stream, the Metro Children's Water Festival is about protecting and understanding the safety and sustainability of Minnesota's most precious resource. For more information about the festival, please visit metrocwf.org.